Welcome back. Today is the eve of the Minnesota legislative session. It starts tomorrow and on the first day, an updated version of a previous sports betting bill will be introduced. Jordan us now is Minnesota Senator and Chair of the Senate Finance Committee, Senator John Marty. Good to see you. Thanks for joining My us. My pleasure. So this is going to be introduced uh, by Senator Jeremy Miller. He plans to introduce this new Minnesota Sports Betting Act 2.0, he's calling it. Yeah. Uh, your take. On it, um, and, you know, discussing this fresh out of the gates, right, right off of the Super Bowl, right. where it's a big discussion. And the bill that was out last year is still the one that's moving. He's got his as an alternative to it, and and basically all the discussion on sports betting has been who's going to profit from it, tribes or tracks or whom, and and that's important discussion. But I'm really concerned about other parts of the issue. So. Expand on that. Expand on that is because, yes, I have no problem with people gambling. You can bet with your friends, you can bet with strangers, and bet on sports, bet on whatever. Um, that's legal, it should be legal. I support people's right to do that. The trouble is when you have predatory companies coming in that are constantly pushing your chance to bet. Um, on your phone, it makes it like you're in a casino full time. And gambling addiction is a real public health ish threat. I think we could have tripling of the number of people with gambling problems. And gambling is the addiction more than opioids or anything else with suicide risk. One in six people with gambling problems have actually attempted suicide. So it's a really public health risk, and that's what I want to make sure we address. And maybe it's m more of that concern, but you know, what do you say to the critics who say, hey, we're in a state now where we're adults. We can choose if we want to you know, try right. marijuana. We can right. make these other adult choices. Why shouldn't we be able to choose sure. to gamble or not? And that's my point is they should be able to choose to gamble and snow it. My problem is when the companies come in marketing constantly, 24-7. You can't look at ESPN online sports the scoreboard not find the odds and point spread and everything else nowadays and to me that takes a very dangerous addiction and puts it in front of you 24 7 in your own home anywhere you want and it's the gambling addiction problems are likely to grow significantly and we as a state have to address mental health and addiction problems we can't just ignore them and assume they'll go away Switching gears a bit, and something that's kind of left over from the last legislative session is uh, the discussion and the the issue around school resource officers. Yes. Kind of left undone um, from last session. What are you hoping to see happen sure. this session? I think early on there's going to be a bill. There's been an agreement now with law enforcement, with lots uh, of others, to make sure we take care of it. The, the bill that passed last year worked, and the attorney general did, but there was some doubt about it. The Attorney General gave a clarifying statement and some law enforcement agencies were saying, oh, we're still not sure this is right. So they worked out the language to make sure that the interpretation of what happened last year is what it was intended to be, namely not to restrict law enforcement officers, but also to protect kids from prone restraints. And some of the, the new updated bill includes creating standards of training, makes right. it illegal for those officers to discipline students for violations of school policy. Um, they're only allowed to enforce the law. Do you think... They can enforce the law, not, yes, if you violate school policy, you can't do it. And, and making sure that they can practice the way law enforcement's always practiced. They're still, we're not restraining that. We're simply saying that you can't do it for school policies and things like that. I think it's a good clarification. I think it's not really changing what the law does. Most school resource officers are back in the schools. I think it's going to continue to be fine. It's just a little thing we have to clarify quickly. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, probably a discussion that a lot of lawmakers didn't expect to be as much of a heated debate as it's become, but the new state flag and new seal design. Right. Your thoughts, some want to see it, go to a vote and yeah. let the voters decide whether this should be changed. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I think it? nine tenths of Minnesotans, nine tenths of Americans don't have a clue what their state flag looks like. Ours is pretty nondescript. It was controversial to some. I think the one thing that this new flag redesign did is get people interested in it, which is good. Um, we had thousands of public, it was all a public process where the public was supposed to submit entries. I would have picked slightly different than what they did pick, but you know, I don't really care. And with the state seal, I was actually, I suggested, you know, state seals, nobody can identify their state seal from somebody else's. I suggested Sparky the seal would be a good state seal for us. Everybody in the country would know that one, but no, whatever, I, I think the state seal um, and the state flag will, flag experts say it's really beautiful and the public weighed in on it and one out of 10 or 20 submissions were saying let's keep the old one, but most of them were new ideas and I think they're creative. Yeah, it's definitely a talker to say it the least. Sure is. <laughs> All right, Senator Marty, thank you. Good luck uh, with the session start tomorrow. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Yeah.